So the last video we looked at uh, working on this joint down the side of the boat. Um, structurally, the boat in this area was fine, but cosmetically and as far as having being watertight, it, it lacked a lot. Um, and several places in the boat where water just poured in. So time to address this. So I did today what we should have done eight months ago when we first got the boat here. I took the four and a half inch grinder with a grinding wheel and I grinded all the crap out of this joint from front to back. Apparently, this is solid as it can be. So apparently this is what the joint looked like when the boat was put together. And it was sealed with a 5200 looking stuff. But the boat is old. Some of the screws had come loose on that um, catwalk. Water had gotten in. Rainwater and rainwater does what rainwater does. It causes problems. I took a different approach on the second side. Instead of trying to like clean out the joint, I just cut the whole corner off. The um, There's a lip. The top part sticks out past the side and it's hard to get the cloth tape to wrap around neatly without air bubbles so on the second side I did what I should have done on the first side I just cut the whole corner off and then that doesn't leave very much to um <clears throat> to cut out of the inside of the joint most of it comes off with the corner so so I went along and cut off the lip part of the this white part had a lip which you know looked good from the factory and part of it they had cut off at the factory it's kind of strange but I couldn't get the glass to go around the lip and go back and make a reasonable joint so I just cut the lip off some of it has the original white caulking in good condition so I will leave that as a backing for my cloth tape some of it has nothing but a hole so I'm filling the holes with uh, thickened polyester resin and then we'll put our two layers of e-glass tape and then I believe the boat will be better than new it's I'm looking inside the cavity left when I cut the lip off and grinded the old caulk away. And some of it is sealed 100%. The plywood that's supporting the top is a perfect joint. And whatever kind of board they have on the side, I'm assuming it's a 2 by it's perfect. And a lot of the spaces down here, they just did a perfect job, but I guess... I guess they missed enough spots so they had enough water leaks where it got soft and started leaking. I don't know. So I've got these cracks all filled in with thickened polyester resin. So now if I sand this kind of roundy, I've got something to hold up the glass. So I think I'm going to let this finish curing and round these corners. Most of it will be easy. So out comes the sander. Um, I'm cleaning the top where the cloth will overlap the top, especially around these outside screw holes because the cloth is going to cover those up. And I'm also rounding the corner, knocking off any bumps or whatever to make sure the cloth will lay flat and sanding down on the edge a little bit to have a clean surface, although most of that has already been grinded away. Then uh, the, the more time you spend doing this, the the better, easier job you have when you're dealing with the uh, putting the glass tape on the edge. After applying two layers of uh, glass tape, e-glass set in epoxy, um, this this is behind us. I don't think this will ever leak. And on to the next project. This is a factory joint between the back deck and the long sides, and it's cracked pretty good and there's a crack here that we hadn't noticed before because the boat was been so got darn dirty so we got the boat kind of cleaned up and this and one on the other side I think is the final places where water rainwater might be leaking in except for screw holes so this is also directly over where that um, beam rotted completely in half and the water was coming through here Probably some through here, but maybe when the beam rotted and this side shifted down, that's what made this crack so so bad. So I sanded all the damaged glass off, or a good bit of it off, and I managed to sand through because there wasn't much left here. And there's a little bitty hole right there 
this is the crack so I'm gonna fill this and this with some thickened epoxy and then when that cures I'll sand it back down and um, put some maybe three layers of some thin glass on top of that to seal this up this is what I did with this joint I shoved some chop mat down in that hole just to support the thickened epoxy and the thickened epoxy is to support the cloth tape so when epoxy dries we'll sand it a little bit and put a couple layers of tape to beef this up three layers of glass in the gutter and up on the flat part and some primer paint this issue is behind us the three other joints that are similar to this were in much better shape I just sanded the top of them and uh, put some glass these catwalks have been sitting in my backyard for seven months now <clears throat> and it's uh, time we got them up on the sawhorses and we kind of made a plan they have some rotten plywood this is one of the four catwalks off the houseboat um, they're removable to make it cheaper to truck and it's uh, they're actually a pretty good design they're pretty strong they're fairly light easy to get off but they kind of have some uh, they've got some rot over the years this is this is upside down from where it goes on the boat over the years water has come in through here and probably the screw holes and softened up this plywood and all this is is a cushion because this sits directly on top of the boat um, so I've got, I bought some Luan plywood and I ripped it to strips and I'm going to remove move enough of the old plywood so that I can set new plywood right here and then I'll glass between. Um, I have to do that. There's a quarter inch strip of wood or was a quarter inch strip of wood right here which again it's just a cushion. It goes between this glass and the side of the boat. Maybe to keep it from squeaking or something I don't know. I'll have to replace that too and it looks like somebody has already replaced this at one time I guess they had the catwalks off I'm kind of surprised I didn't know that they've ever been off before this is um, the number three and it is really busted up on this end I'm gonna try to pull it back straight where I think it should be and tape it there and then I will clamp a piece of hard fiberglass maybe sealing material on the inside with epoxy when that dries then I can put several more layers of uh, cloth to beef, beef that up a little bit so I did cut out a little piece of the ceiling about uh, three by six I grinded both sides I put it a bunch of epoxy on it I hope it cures because it's gonna be kind of cold tonight and I clamped it and what this will do is to keep the piece straight so I can lay some uh, some cloth on it after this cures out and then it'll be as good as original. It wasn't much to begin with. Look how thin it was. Got the strip of old plywood removed. And I got the uh, existing glass sanded a little bit or grinded a little bit. Um, I glued my plywood on, but it's supposed to get cold tonight. So I better wait for another. another it's getting late. Wait for another day. So all four of them have been patched as far as replacing the plywood and I was very careful to seal this edge with both um, resin and paint because I think that's where the water got in to uh, cause the problems with the rot so they've been patched and these two actually have a coat of fresh paint on them but you can't tell because the pollen's got them covered up but uh good progress two ready to go on the boat and two that have been patched they just need to be painted